If you say you believe in Christ, you have to push it. And right in the midst of sickness, people that love you or hate you, or circumstances or situations, and say, hold it, I'm going to call on God anyway, like Job. Job was sick from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. He said he had boils. He had no idea Satan and God had a conversation about him. He didn't know that. All he knew, he was in trouble. He was hurting and in pain. And when you're in hurting and pain, you may not say everything scripturally right, spiritually right, because there's so much about God that we don't know. We're down here. Like Jesus said, Jesus said, I'm from above. I think that's in John 6, I think, but it's in the Bible. He said, but you're from below. Isaiah said, just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are God's ways and thoughts higher than our ways and thoughts. So God is higher. So even though I grasp hold of God, you grasp hold of God, we grasp hold of God, there's so much more to grasp because Satan is right there in our ear, right in our eyes. Hold on, we wasn't born perfect, remember? He went right to Adam and Eve's eyes, and they were perfect. I wear glasses. They wasn't wearing glasses. I have things wrong with me. Scars and bruises and 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 wounds in the head, wounds in my mind. They didn't have none of that. They were perfect. But he got them. Why do you think he keeps coming at you, keeps coming at me? No matter what your level of belief is, whether your level of belief is down here or your level of belief is up is here or up there or you even climbing satan will not stop trying to kill you john 10 and 10 the devil's job is to rob kill and destroy you that's why you can't trust you can't trust him but if you don't know the doctrine of satan which is the world what is the doctrine of satan the world it's not one book it's not one television show it's not one song satan's doctrine is the world he documented it He's the God of this world. He has like a animal. He has put his mark on it. He has urinated and defecated on everything. Left his mark. Left his sin. Left his murder. Left his strife and envy and hatred and jealousy and maliciousness. Profanity and arguments and dissimulations. His divide and conquer and his opposition against righteousness and holiness and perfection against Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So where, where does the answer lie? The answer lies in Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. The answer lies in asking God to help us to love not the world, 1 John 2, 15. Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. For when we love the world, we don't have the love of the Father. That's what the scriptures see. See, the scriptures, the scriptures, the scriptures, the scriptures are the prescription. But we try to rewrite the prescription and change it around. Or under the leading of Satan, watch Adam and Eve Watch Eve. Eve told Satan the word of God. She she told Satan the scripture. She told him the prescription. I can't eat. I can't touch the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And what did Satan do? Forget God's scriptures. Forget God's prescription. And listen to my scripture coming out of my mouth, out of my mind, and my prescription, and my scripture, my word, my knowledge. You won't die. I oppose, I override what God said. You won't die, and you will be as a God. He didn't even tell her the feminine version that she would be as a goddess. Unless he was talking to Adam through her. Because a woman can't be a God. 
And if she's a god, she's like a lesbian. She's a bulldog. She's a dyke. Because she's a, a transformed man. Because you would be a goddess. Hold it. But what do we have today? A whole lot of transformed women that call themselves men. Transformers. Whole lot of men that are transformed women. <coughs> I'm a trans. I'm a trans man, meaning I'm a, actually a woman, but I trans to a transform to a man. I'm a actually a a, a a a man, but I'm a trans woman, meaning I'm a man originally, but I'm transformed to a woman. And what did I say transforming is? Transforming is to change. It's a thorough, dramatic change. And these are the same people that will say, don't change me. But you mean, God, you don't want God to change you to holiness, but you'll let the devil change you from a man to a woman. Mm, Lord, help us. Witchcraft, rebellion, addicted to the world, addicted to Satan. You won't. You don't want no man to tell you what to do. No man don't tell me what to do. I'm talking to the women for a minute. But you'll let Satan get into your mind with witchcraft and addiction to his witchcraft and under his spell and you'll say a man can't tell you what to do and you don't like men to, but you'll just call yourself a trans man. How you gonna hate a man and be a, but trans to a man? Men, how are you going to hate a woman but trans to a woman? You don't want to be in a righteous, even biological relationship, a real man, real woman. And then let's not even talk about being holy and being following God, which is a righteous man with a righteous woman help build each other to be righteous. The woman helps the man be righteous. Man helps the woman to be right. You jokers go against that. To say you don't like man, don't like woman, to only to become what you say you don't like. That makes no good sense, just like it don't make no sense for a man with a dress on, acting saying he's a woman, or a woman wearing pants saying she's a man. Remember, all that goes together, because when they're feminine women that wear pants, just like everyone wore robes back in the day, and he, um, Deuteronomy 5 and 22 says a man shouldn't wear anything pertaining to a woman, or a woman, it don't even say a woman, pertain to her. so we add that part because if a man can't wear anything pertaining to a woman but if they all wore robes back there and sandals there had to be robes for women and had to be robes for men and i remember when i was coming up women used to didn't have any pockets on their back pants that's how you knew it was a fem feminine pair of pants or either they had a slant on the front pockets that's how you knew they were for women because the, without the pockets not saying that women that don't have that women that already have that have backside, it's going to accent them anyway. But when it didn't have any any pockets on the back, it accented their backside. Bottom line: a man supposed to act, a male supposed to act like a male, and a female supposed to act like a female. Not a male act like a female, female act like a male. See, that's the control of the witchcraft, and then we become addicted to whatever the witchcraft, whatever the rebellion has fed us the demons have fed so a person that gets fed into a fe a male that starts feeling like a a, a girl or, or feels feminine he gets addicted to that and he feeds on that addiction and he like the, they say little children are telling their parents little boys and little girls